me, Mike Self and I. It's me, Mike Self and I. Me, Mike Self and I. It's me, Mike Self and I. To another exciting episode of me, Mike Self, and I. Episode 99. <laughs> 99. 99. <laughs> We're getting closer, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting really close now to episode 100. My 100th episode. Am I going to do anything special? I would like to go outside. How about that? (laughs) I would like to go outside and interview someone within five feet of me, not six. I'm a rebel without a cause. Five feet. That's what I'm going to do. I was going to do something special for episode 100, but, you know, the coronavirus just ruined everyone's lives. But, hey, you know what? It's okay. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm not even focused on episode 100 right now. I'm focused on this one, this episode, right here, right now, episode 99. And we are here together, folks. Huh? I know you're bored. I know you're bored. I know you're going crazy. I know everyone's got on your nerves inside your household. You can only go so far. I get it. And people can tell you to meditate, people can tell you to pray, people can tell you to do this and that, but (laughs) Jesus was never quarantined. Think about that. When you are, when pastors and everyone and religious people come together and pray and hold hands and look at the good book, yeah, but was Jesus quarantined? Sure, he may have gotten beaten and whipped and crucified on the cross, but he was never quarantined. Would Jesus be a religious figure, the son of God, if he was quarantined with his mother Mary the whole time? Let's see how religious Jesus would have been if he was quarantined. Jesus, when are you going to grow up? Jesus. Jesus. Stop it, Mom. I'm the son of God. Jesus Christ. You need to clean up your room. You need to clean up your room, Mom. You need to start going out and get a job. I'm a carpenter. Not really. Jesus. Oh, God, deliver us from this quarantine. No, Jesus. You're stuck with the rest of us. (laughs) But it doesn't matter. We're quarantined together. And I, I, I'm not going to talk about the COVID-19. We're here all the time. As soon as you turn on the TV, COVID, 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 COVID. Let's see what is on the updated news. Oh, coronavirus. Live updates with the coronavirus. Enough is enough with the coronavirus. COVID-19, COVID-19. The benefits of losing your job in COVID-19. ABC breaking news. COVID. I mean, it's all over the place. So <laughs> what is the point of talking about it? We're not going to talk about it here. Well, in the realm of being panic because I got some more exciting news. I got some with, you know what? When, when God closes a door, he opens a window to keep you social distance from everyone else. And I'm very happy to say during this pandemic, what I've learned is to welcome something else, ladies and gentlemen, because right now, as you were listening to the Me, Mike, Self, and I podcast on your earbuds, on iTunes and Google Play, probably on Libsyn, guess what? The Me, Mike, Self, and I podcast is now broadcasting on KNYO 107.7 Fort Bragg. Yes! <laughs> Starting every Sunday night at 5 p.m., the Me, Mike, Self, and I podcast is 
broadcasting. So you guys might be a week late on my content, but that's okay, Fort Bag, because you know why? You got 98 other episodes that you can log on to on my website at MikeBetancourt.com. That's Mike, B-E-T-A-N-C-O-U-R-T.com. If you don't know how to spell Mike, you shouldn't be anywhere near people because it's not that difficult to spell Mike. But... I want to thank everybody of Fort Bragg for allowing me to be broadcasting in your ears right now. I know I'm a little loud, I, but you know what? Here's the thing. I got to say thanks to everybody that got that has me involved with this podcast and broadcasting on KNYO. Uh, first of all, I would have never found KNYO. Wino. Wino will definitely be Wino. <laughs> after this quarantine. But I would have never found KNYO. I said it again. KNYO. There we go. No. 107.7. I would have never found this wonderful radio station if it wasn't for Jake Bernie booking me to perform in Fort Bragg. I would have never discovered this wonderful gem of a town. Okay, it's a small community, but this community is awesome. I performed with them with my feature act, Nick Larson, and his wonderful girlfriend, Daniel Arcy, uh, back in October. No, was it October? Oh, my God. Everything's just blending. Anyways, before the pandemic happened, we all performed there, and it was just a magical place. And I've been staying in touch with the program director, Bob Young. He he came up to me, and he said, hey, uh, since... The whole world's coming apart. Do you want to put your podcast on our website? Sure. Absolutely. Of course. So thank you, wonderful people of Fort Bragg, for listening to the Me, Mike, Stuff, and I podcast. Now, since you are listening to this podcast right now in your ears, you probably went on the website at KNYO 107.7 or KNYO.org. And you know what's cool about this radio station? They have this, they have a great slogan. It says, we are radioactive. It's double meaning. It's, it's amazing. That's why I love this place. I love this place. And I now, so Fort Braggers, I'm talking to you right now. You are no longer Fort Braggers when you're listening to the Me, Myself, and I podcast. You are now an official M.M. Iker. Mikers. Mm. So thank you very much, Fort Bragg, for listening and allowing me to be uh, a part of you during this wonderful pandemic. So again, you mentioned uh, just check out my website at mikebetancourt.com. Uh, all the links will be on below or whenever you find it, and you'll find it on uh, knyo.org. There will be a list of my website and my other shows, and the list will go on and on. So. Thank you. It's a big deal for me. It's a big deal for us. I'm now in the airwaves. I'm not just podcasting. I'm in the airwaves. So when you turn on your car at 5 o'clock just to get away from everyone, listen to the Me, Myself, and I podcast as well. (laughs) All right. Okay. How's everybody doing during this wonderful pandemic? Is everyone doing okay? If you're not doing okay, if you are or you're not, tell me what you've been doing this whole time. This is where you needed. This is my call to action. You need to email me at mmipodcast19 at gmail.com. Let me know how you're doing. I know I always have call to actions and I always want us to stay in touch, but I truly want us to stay in touch. So please email me. Let me know how you're doing because I want to know because I don't know what's going on out there because it's empty. It's empty. Which is a good thing. It's good that everything's empty. It sucks that the economy is going to collapse, but we got to get rid of this virus, okay? We have to stay indoors. I don't know how many times people are are not abiding by this. How do you not abide by this? How do you not how do you not do that? How do you I it's not a conspiracy theory, okay? This is real life stuff and you got one simple rule, stay indoors pretty simple it's pretty simple stay indoors okay nurses doctors they're all saying dude stop being stupid okay we are begging you 
stay indoors. We are telling you, don't go anywhere. We're not part of this conspiracy theory government agenda. We're not a part of Donald Trump's uh, lack of responsibility. We're not a part of that. We are nurses. We are doctors trying to stay alive so you can stay alive. And the best way you can stay alive is stay indoors. <laughs> it's that simple. We have the internet. We have TV. You can go outside. You can do push-ups. You can do sit-ups. You can do, you can get P90X. Yeah, go back to your old P90. Yeah, I used to do P90X. I still have those videos. I need to get back in shape. But you, you, you have everything in your fingertips so what if you can't talk to people so what if you can't go to the beach so what this is gonna blow over if everyone stays indoors do you see it do you see how easy this would be that's why china that's why china just finished their quarantine that's why china just finished it. and unfortunately there's a new virus going out there because people are stupid Okay, I like how China had everything locked up. Well, when you live in a you know dictatorship, a communist uh, regime, they say stay indoors. You stay indoors, and guess what happens? It wipes away clean. It's that simple. It wipes away clean. Okay, we're grounded. I get it, but. It's not going to last forever, but apparently it is going to last forever because people are still going outside. People are still not listening, even though it's considered a pandemic, even though this is considered a state of emergency. Do you think the governor of California wants to shut California down? Do you think he wants to shut all these businesses down? Do you think it's like this weird Alex Jones Infowars you know, lockdown. The government wants us to be, 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 be. You got to stay locked down because, you know, they're going to take our rights away. This is the beginning, folks. This is the beginning. Big, 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 big. No, this is not the beginning. This is not, this is nothing. All you got to do is stay indoors. But people are still neglecting, neglecting this pandemic. Okay, if this virus was deadly, like the Ebola virus, I mean, it's still deadly, but if it was, if you, imagine this, if you went outside and all of a sudden the virus just attacks your skin and you see bubbles boiling and ripped your skin off, would you go outdoors? No, you wouldn't. But if you continue to allow this pandemic to spread, it's going to end up like that and we're all going to die because you're it, you're dumb. Plain and simple. Like these spring breakers of the University of Tampa. Did you see that? They said, don't go outside. And what do all these spring breakers do? They go outside. Not only that, they go to the beach. Not only that, they're not six feet apart from each other. Not only that, they're all crowded together, drinking, probably taking shots off the same bottle, probably smoking weed and, not, and puff puff passing around. They don't care. They're spring breakers. And, and they don't care. They care about going to the beach they care about their time off. We've been studying so hard. We need a break. You don't need a break right now. Okay? We need to survive. Okay? And these kids are so stupid. Okay. <clears throat> I get it, younger generation. I get it. You don't want the older generation to pick on you. You don't want the older generation to put you down and say, you know, why doesn't the older generation take us seriously? We we have done nothing. We're just cleaning up your mess. Well, now we're cleaning up your mess, younger generation. Because thousands of people were at Tampa Bay. Thousands of people were at the beach. Not a care in the world. You don't think so? I you know, normally I would get a, a, a sound bite for this, but I rather do it this way. I rather quote people and sound and you can hear how dumb they sound. This is how they sound. One, I've quoted three people, okay? And I'm going to go in this order. And this is what each spring breaker said verbatim. I am not lying, okay? Here we go. 
This is what they said when, and why? First of all, why are reporters there too? That's what I just realized too. Why are reporters there with a camera and a microphone in front of people in a crowded place? That means the the camera crew is going to get sick too, because they wanted that art. They wanted the ratings. But this is what they said. If I okay, I'm going to sound like Keanu Reeves. If I get Corona, I get Corona. At the end of the day, I'm not going to let it stop me from partying. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Yes, it's going to stop you from par- partying because when you get sick and you're full-blown corona, guess what happens? You're going to die. I'll say it again. If I get corona, I get corona. At the end of the day, I'm going to let it. I'm not going to let it stop me from partying. <laughs> Here's what a girl says. It's really messing up with my spring break. Oh, Lord. Yeah, because it's a virus that we've never dealt with before. Of course it's going to mess up with your spring break. How oh God, How selfish is that? It's messing up with my spring break. I studied, I studied, I worked hard, and I got A's. And B's because I paid people to do my work and now I can't get a break from this? I have to. Right, I know. I know. If I get corona, it doesn't matter. I'll be drinking a corona and then having corona at the same time. (laughs) Here's another quote. This is the best one. This right here defines Generation Z. In this, in this sentence. Okay? this I swear to God, this is... I'm not... You can look it up yourself. This is the exact quote. This is the best quote. This quote right here is going to define the generation of the youth. Okay? When, you, when we're all gone and aliens come back and, and they see that the whole planet is gone, they're going to find footage up in the space and they're going to find this. This is the quote that's going to define what... The world is like. Are you ready? Here it is. Okay. I just turned 21 this year, so I'm here to party. It's kind of disappointing, but we're just making the most of it. We're trying to get drunk before everything closes. (laughs) I gotta say that again. I have to. It's the best. I got, it's so stupid. It's it's worse than the first two, isn't it? I'm going to say the quote one more time. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> I just turned 21 this year. So I'm here. I'm going to get drunk every time I get closer to the end. Okay. Let me start all over. I just turned 21 this year. So I'm here to party. <laughs> It's kind of disappointing, but we're just making the best of it. We're trying to get drunk before everything closes. (laughs) Good Lord Almighty. Now, what did you guys get out of these three quotes? What did you get from these three quotes? You know what I got? Selfishness. Stupidity. And... Yeah, just selfishness and stupidity. They don't care. They'd rather die from corona and have it. You know what? Okay. Coming from me, Mike Betancourt, Fort Bragg, you're my new listeners. I like to have fun. When you, see me, when, you, when you saw me perform in your wonderful city, you saw me have a good time before and after the show. I love to have fun. I'm always going against the grain. I'm always going against the grain because I'm always going against the authoritarian. I'm always going against if everyone's doing this, I'm going to go do that. I get that. I'm the type of person that loves to have fun. I love to have a good time. I do. But uh, when your life is on the line, you got to follow the rules. You have to. 
even if it if, even if it doesn't affect well i'm young i got a good immune system okay so when you go home and give your grandparents a hug you're gonna kill them immediately when you give your mom a hug you're gonna kill her that's what you, that's what's being said I, I if i get corn i don't care of course you don't care because it's not gonna affect you but you're 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 gonna wipe out and guess what <laughs> Here's this about this whole spring breakers going to um, Tampa Bay, going to the beach. Guess what? Four of them got tested for Corona. And guess what? Four of them are infected. Do you think everyone else is going to be infected? Yes. Are they going to spread it to everyone else? Yes. Is their whole family and their generation going to get wiped out? Yes. This is... But they had a good time. I bet. I hope they had the best time of their lives. I really do. I hope it was worth it. And I know I sound like an old man saying that. I hope it was worth it. But I hope you had the best time of your life. I hope everyone got laid. I hope everyone did all the drugs. I hope everyone jumped off buildings. I hope everyone lit fireworks. Whatever it is, whatever kids do nowadays to have fun, I hope you had the time of your life because that was the it. That was the last time you will ever have fun in your entire life. While all of us adults are being quarantined and following the rules and trying to flatten that curve, guess what? When it's time for us to go out, we're going to go out and we're not going to we're going to look at every single young person, everyone in their 20s and say, I hate you. Thanks for there's going to be a generation, you know, that generation parents don't understand. Yeah, we don't understand why you're so stupid. You're going to college. Right. You're going to a university to become a better student and study. And become a better adult and because and and work towards that. You should have the critical thinking. Didn't they teach you that in college? Didn't they didn't they teach you that? Uh if you've got a virus and it can infect other people with the virus, do you A stay home? B go to spring break? Or C all the above? According to them, it's all the above, which is dumb, but I don't care. Whatever. Whatever. I'm done with it. I know children are our future, but this this is the future you want? Oh, dude, I'm 21. I don't care if I get the Rona. I get the Rona. <laughs> Whatever. 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 I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not going to be mad. You know why? Because that's not me. I can see if I did. I've done stupid stuff in my life. Lord knows I've done stupid stuff. But this takes the cake. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done because there's more things to worry about or make fun of. Let's make fun of. Here's in other news. You guys ready for this? On top of these idiots that were in Tampa Bay infecting Florida, on top of that, guess what else is coming through? You ready for this? You ready? You ready? Here we go. <clears throat> now there's a group I can't even... <laughs> I can't even say this without laughing. I really can't, but I'm going to do it anyways. White, <laughs> white supremacists encouraging their members to spread the coronavirus to cops and Jews. How dumb is that? So you want to deliberately get the virus to go and spread the virus? I don't know. That's not pretty supremacy of your race to do so. <laughs> I hate the blacks. I hate the Chinese. And I hate the Jews. So what we're going to do, folks, we're going to get infected with this COVID-19 and we're going to march down the street and cough on people. Let's go. White power. White power. White power. <laughs> Come here, Jew. Come here. Come here, Jew. I got a cough on you. <laughs> Come here. No, you don't. You get over here, you dumb Jew. Okay? I know you're seven feet away from me, but you get five feet closer to me. Let's go. Let's do this right here, right now. You and me, boy. I'm going to infect your whole race. Let's do this. <sighs> I hope everyone wipes each other out with this. I really do. The Spring Breakers and the White Supremacists. Just wipe yourselves out. Seriously, 
You're going to take time to get bottles and spray cops and Jews. That's and the, the and, and according to the news, according to the FA, FBI reports, these white supremacists are going to go into churches and infect everyone. Well, I got news for you, buddy. I got news for you, racist people. No one's going to church now. So how are you going to get them? You're just going to walk around with a bottle and just cough everywhere? <laughs> white power. <laughs> white power. Where are they at? Let's go to that Chinese store because they infected us, even though they're from America. I think the coronavirus has infected people's intelligence. I think that's the problem. I really can you believe that? They just they just you want to wipe out a whole race? You want to wipe out a whole race by coughing on people. So you want to get infected. Because that takes time, okay? That takes time, effort to get infected because you got to make sure because the symptoms don't happen after two weeks. So you got to wait two weeks, make sure you're 100% coronavirus infected. Then you got to go outside and find Jews. Then you got to go outside and find cops. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of hatred. And that's a lot of wasted time. Just stay quarantined, put your sheets on, and burn crosses later. Can you just wait until we're done? Can you can you can you just wait? Can you wait? No, it's a genocide. We need to infect them all. Can you just wait? Okay. I'm not a white supremacist. I hate white supremacists. I think it's a dumb thing because oh my, my color of my skin is better than yours. Yeah, but the inside is what I, it sounds the same, but you, you hear that silence? That silence is there for a reason because there's no need. To, it's the dumbest thing I've ever, these two things are the dumbest things I've ever heard in my life. And that's why I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. White supremacists and spring breakers, what do they have in common? They're all going to die. <laughs> that's what's going to happen. They're all going to die. All right. All right. Enough bad news. But you know what? We're going to get through this, okay? The ones that are being quarantined, the ones that are following the rules to help humanity, the ones that are are making sure we're trying to flatten the curve, guess what? It's going to be gravy for us. While everyone else is dying and bleeding from their eyes, we're going to be okay. Because know why? Because we have the Me, Myself, and I podcast. We have... KNYO 107.7 FM for Bragg. We got us together, okay? We are going to weed out stupidity. That's the whole purpose. I think that's why God's gift. That's what God did. I think Mother Earth, first of all, Mother Earth was sick and tired of pollution, sick and tired of everything. She's like, I am sick. So what I'm going to do is... <coughs> spew out this unknown virus on you and I'm going to get better. And look at pollution has dropped. Gas prices has dropped. No one's talking about war. Uh, dolphins are in Italy now swimming through the canals because it's clear and not murky. The only people that are really in trouble are, are us. We're the caged animals now. If you think about it, we are the caged animals. Earth said, nope, I'm done. I'm done. So we're going to weed out the, the stupid, I almost said stupidity, we're going to weed them out and the people that are smart enough to stay quarantined, we're going to survive. And that's what we did. So, but enough about these wonderful, <laughs> stupid news. I was going to say bad news, but it's so stupid. It just blows me up, blows my mind. Anyways, enough about that. Because guess what? Now it is time for good. It's time for good news. I know with all the sick and all the horrible things you see on television, with all the bad stuff you read, it's all over the place. But guess what? Now it is time for some good news. And the good news for today is... Siblings filmed playing sweet, spontaneous porch concert for elderly neighbor in self-isolation. There's a group of kids going around playing a cello and violin to elderly people because they can't get out because they're quarantined. They're actually, these elderly people are following the rules, staying quarantined, 
Yes. Are they going crazy? Yes. Are they at risk of dying? Yes. So what are they doing? They're staying locked in. But these young kids are going from around their neighborhood playing wonderful classical music to soothe these elderly people. How sweet is that? That right there should inspire each and every one of us to do something nice, to do something wonderful for these elderly people. They need us right now more than ever. Yes, you can go to spring break. Yes, you can be a white supremacist and try to, you know, get sick and make everyone else sick. Sure, you can do that. Or you can change your lifestyle right now and help the older people, help the elderly out. Haven't they been teaching us this since we were kids? Respect your elders. How many times have you heard that when you were growing up? Respect your elders. Respect your elders. This is the time to respect our elders. This is the time to get together, love each other, and entertain the elderly people. They need it more than ever. They can't go out at all because as soon as they go out, they're gone. They can't. You can't allow that to happen. So I encourage each and every one of you to go to your nearest elderly, go to your grandparents, go to your, uh, go to your grandparents' friends, go to a retirement community, do something fun for them, entertain them, make sure they have a good time, check on them, see if they need food, check on them, do some uh, uh, grocery delivery for them, make sure they are okay, because without them, there wouldn't be us. So, spring breakers, you want to redeem yourself? Go help your grandparents by staying home. Because you're you're already infected. <laughs> All right, folks, I'm gonna get going, but I want to say thank you so much, everyone, for listening to the Me, Myself, and I podcast. Thank you so much, KNYO 107.7 FM, for having me on your broadcast. I really appreciate it, and this is just the beginning. Okay, we have so much more. Again, make sure you check out my website at www.mikebetancourt B-E-T-A-N-C-O-U-R-T.com um, and uh, subscribe subscribe to this podcast okay you have now officially you have 99 episodes you can go back and see it from the beginning and you can go all the way up to where we're at now because 100's coming and when 100 comes we're going to do something special I have no idea what I'm going to do but I don't care because this is the episode I care about so subscribe to this podcast tell people about this podcast unfortunately there are no shows live shows right now because comedy is illegal right now Ooh, it's illegal but when i start doing stand-up comedy again i will let you know and there'll be more shows for us to have fun and meet each other it's gonna blow over all you got to do is stay indoors also before i go with my final thought here's this do me a favor ladies and gentlemen our nurses, our doctors, everyone in the healthcare system needs our help. So please listen to them. Okay? Listen to them. Stay indoors. And if you find masks, steal them, whatever it takes, find them and donate it to your nearest hospital. Okay? You have to. Because without them, who's going to help us? No one. These amazing doctors and nurses will help the idiots that got infected in Tampa Bay. Would you? No, because you know they're stupid. But they're going but they're going to help the, the these people out. Okay? So these wonderful amazing people need your help. So find masks and send it to your nearest hospital. Okay? Donate. Do a mask drop. I don't care what it takes, but find masks for them. You don't need it, they do. So help them out. All right. And with that, are you ready ladies and gentlemen? Are you ready? It's time to salsa. Here we go. Salsa!